Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more FTL. You can see we're kind of in a little uh, bit of a nebula at the moment, and that is this entire sector. So things are going to be a little interesting. Uh, we are getting rather close to the end of things. So we're going to see about trying to get as much, uh, as much scrap as possible and upgrading our ship. There's a few more things that I really would want. I'm thinking some extra shields would not go astray, some extra weapon capacity. Uh, outside of that, I think that's the main things we have to worry about. Outside of, of course, the main integrity of our ship. So either way, I see that there's a store down here, so let's go ahead and dive over there. We have a full cargo bay at this stage, so we may as well see what we can do. And we can go ahead and start selling. Now, I don't think we're going to pick up a drone control today. They have some nice, ooh, some nice hull lasers as well. Hmm. Reach missiles. That's not bad either. Hmm. Normal damage of four. In fact, uh, hang on a second. How much does our Hermes do? Three. Okay, so we're going to sell off a Hermes. That is for sure. I think we're also going to go ahead and sell off the anti-personnel drone. I don't think we matter. Uh, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, Defense Drone Mark 1 stops asteroids and missiles and flak debris. Uh, again, it could be nice, but again, at the same time, too, I think having something else would be better. So let's see. Uh, what have we got? Helm missiles. They do two normal damage. Uh, fire chance low. Double on system worst rooms. Or we could just fire a breach missile. Okay, so what's the difference between these two? Charge time is clearly a fair bit more on the breach. Uh, the chances of breaches are high. Fire is low. Um, hmm. I think we're probably going to go with the breach missiles. It just hits a little bit harder, and that's a really good thing for us. And doing more damage means we fire less of them in the long run. So let's go ahead and purchase that. Uh, is there anything else we wish to sell? You know what? Uh, let's pop that into position there. Do we keep the secondary missile? It's tempting, but I'm not sure if we're going to have enough. We could make back a little bit of cash. Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of uh, both of these. That'll be fine. The burst laser we might keep around. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the dual shot laser. That seems to be a better bet than our burst laser at the moment. Requires a little bit less power and its charge up is slightly lower as well. So yeah, we're not going to get rid of that. Though potentially we may swap out the pike beam. Who knows? Uh, but for now, you know what? Maybe we do just sell that off. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell this off. Make the most of what we have available. All right, so that takes us to 84. We can't pick up a drone control, unfortunately. Uh, hull smasher laser. Again, that's two shots per charge. Same thing on everything. It does double damage on others, but again, that's... It's not going to be particularly useful for us. So I think we just stick with what we've got. Uh, let's buy a little bit of extra fuel. I know that we're a little bit short right now. I don't really like having less than 10. Not when we've still got a full sector to travel. And then, you know what? That's a very expensive hull repair. I think we save our cash for now. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Anything else available? We've got another nebula. Uh, let's see. If we go ahead and check out our ship, we can go for one more in our weapon control. That would give us a full board of power if we so desired. Oh man, that would actually be nice. We could have everything up and running. You know what? Yep, that is absolutely what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and purchase that. Let's take a little bit of power from our engines right now. Oh, actually, you know what? No. Uh, we're going to send you from our systems. And we're going to go ahead and we'll take you to our weapons bay. Uh, you, our security guy, we're going to put you onto our sensors. Yeah, there we are. That's going to save us a little bit of extra power. And then we only need one more. So I guess, yeah, you're powering things, you're powering things. Let's drop, let's drop that just a little bit. And we've got a pike beam now. So now we can do some solid, solid damage. All right, let's save their new positions. And let's jump to the next spot. All right, what do we find? A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Well, you know what? Yeah, we have weapons and an abundance. 
activate your advanced weapons threateningly. Yes, yes, we will. I hail you. There's no need for aggression. Perhaps this could convince you to look the other way. 57 scrap and 3 fuel. You know what? Both of which are very, very nice. I think this is going to be one of the few times where we actually do take the bribe. Yeah. No damage. No problems. That sets us ahead. That is really nice. Now up to 62 scrap. That means we can either go ahead and buy a little bit of leeway for our shields. That's not a bad idea. We could upgrade the doors potentially. I think though we're going to go towards the shields. But we'll just double check the jump. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything amazing. So let's just go ahead and get that extra little bit of security for our shield set up. That way, if we take any damage, we're not going to immediately lose our, sec our, uh, our layer of shields. All right, let's go ahead and check out. Where do we go? I think maybe we jump over here just so we can scan out a couple more regions. Yeah, and then we'll try and go further up and then make our way back down towards the exit. All right, so a sh your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly looking stationed to look for you. Okay, so they've got some decent shields, but we do have a breach, pike, and a dual lasers. So you know what? This could just be the perfect thing. We could attempt to stay hidden, but I think this is a fight that we can take out fairly well. So let's attack the ship. Let's take them down just a notch. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is wait for those things to go on online. Unfortunately, the, our sensors don't work in the nebula, so let's send you back over towards our blast doors. Uh, we'll see if what they fire at us first, but again, we're going to go for a full alpha strike. And we'll see how that goes. Alright, that's a couple of shots alright. I think we'll have to worry about the missile more, so let's hit that cloaking button. And now let's go ahead and fire our breach missile at their shield generator. Come on, land on target. Fantastic. Let's go ahead, follow up with the dual lasers. Let's burn through that too. Some damage, but not quite enough. And now let's follow up on the, on the shields. Let's see, how much damage can we do? I'm going to take out their weapons. I guess we're stuck to what's there. All right, that'll have to do. But at least we've now done some very solid damage to their shields and we can get the most of our dual lasers. Let's follow that up again. Uh, but I think we'll wait for our pike beam. Yeah, they've only got this barrage ready. In fact, uh, you know what? We don't need extra oxygen right now. Let's go ahead and kick that towards our evasion chances. 45% is pretty solid. That means about two, maybe three shots will hit. But uh, we've got two shields, so it may not be the end of the world. Let's go dual lasers straight against those shields. And let's follow that up once again and cut through their weapon systems again. All right, you win. Here's some equipment from our stores. Leave us alone. Sorry, but you're going to tell everybody where we are. That is not acceptable. We've got to take you out. Do we fire one more missile or do we save the lasers and pike beam? I think we're going to go ahead and get the dual lasers firing up on the shields. We need at least yeah, one more to hit and we can take them down. Uh, that's solid damage right there. Let's get that pike beam and we're going to splice this thing in half. There we go. All right, and we're saving some extra missiles as well. That'll be fine. All right, there we go. So in 48 scrap, that's what we want. All right. Bars, let's go ahead and let you fix up the systems there. Let's go ahead and get the oxygen up and running. Let's send another one to our med bay. All right, so far so good. Let's go back to, you know what? We're inside a nebula. We're never going to be able to use our sensors, are we? No, so that would be rather senseless. Let's send you back to the doors. Yep, we'll uh, save this as our new position here. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and go back to the evasion. Let's go ahead and see about upgrading our ship. Do we go for another bar of shielding? Ooh. We won't have the power. Unless, of course, we get hit by an ion storm. That is a possibility in these parts. Hmm. That is very tempting. I think we go for the shielding. 
Yeah, at least that way, if we know we're going to get hit, depending, we can uh, play around with our power a little bit better. Uh, we could even possibly turn off our oxygen and a little bit of our engines and uh, get an extra shield bar. I think that's not a, the worst idea, or at least uh, wouldn't be the worst for a temporary measure. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're going to go as high as we possibly can. We want to scout out as much of this as possible. Oh, and speak of the devil, here we are. We are in one of those plasma storms. You jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves in to attack. Cloak and escape, attempt to outrun it, or prepare to fight. Well, 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 what do we have here? We could... Cloaking's probably going to give us a bit. We could go with two ways. Yeah, you know what? I think we prepare for the fight. I think we can do this. Oh, and this thing has no shields. Oh, good grief, yes. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and... What have we got? Uh, they have cloaking, so do we. Let's go ahead and, you know, we'll keep our oxygen turned on for a second. When they unleash their first volley, we'll hit the... We'll come out of cloaking. We'll, we'll go ahead and redirect power. But for the second, it doesn't really matter what they're doing. Uh question though do we want to have evasion or do we want shields honestly the shields don't really matter because we're about to be cloaked yeah we're about to be cloaked this doesn't matter all right and it's already green for firing let's go ahead and dodge uh, that'll be fine 105. Let's go ahead and get our pike beam up and are running, please and thank you. And then, oh, you know what? We can put our dual lasers there so they do get charged. Okay. All right. Not the not the best, not the worst. We can probably make very quick work of this thing, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, we'll send out dual lasers at the. Where do we send it? Maybe they're cloaking. Maybe just their weapons. You know what? Let's just take out their weapons. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Oh, one of them did miss. That's not ideal. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and work through all of that. I suppose. But you know, if we go high enough. Oh no, we're not going to be able to make that work. Uh, we'll take out their piloting. We'll take out their engines. Take out as much as we can. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm not really too concerned. It's not going to be going anywhere. I can't dodge anything anymore. Let's get those dual lasers on that cloaking device just to be certain. Actually, no, no. Take out that weapon. We don't need them to be firing upon us unnecessarily. All right, that's down to one weapon. Uh, they're about to fire. Let's go ahead and get some shielding back. Let's go ahead and uh, get that engaged. Yeah, two shots, one damage. You know what? That's much better I think uh you know what I think at this point we can probably just go dual lasers and uh take out their weapons again realistically we probably should have just turned off the pike beam yeah we should have just turned off the pike beam but you know what it's easier to say that in hindsight and we've already destroyed it so it's nothing too serious all right an extra 61 scrap two fuel and a missile is what we salvage not bad all right, so the question is, anything else we wanted to pick up? A little bit of extra power wouldn't go astray for these sorts of situations. I don't see what we're about to jump into, so... What do we want? I think we just go ahead and jump and we'll figure out the rest as it... Oh, wait, no, uh... <laughs> we're going to get the oxygen up and running. We're down to 37%. That is not ideal. Okay, so you know what, maybe for situations like this, let's just go ahead and give our oxygen a little bit better odds than what it currently has. We'll chuck in an extra power bar there. That'll uh, make sure that we get our oxygen up and running a little bit better. Also too, if we get hit next time, we won't start losing oxygen immediately, assuming we take only one damage. Yeah, that is far more agreeable. Uh, let's also turn off the pike beam. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that secondary shield and then yeah we'll jump from there all right so let's go oh we've got 16 fuel let's go up a little bit higher we'll see if we can search out all of these maybe we can even make our way back through yeah we'll see what we can find all right what's on this side 
and nebulas are known to be popular mantis hunting grounds information you could have done well to heed here yeah okay well you know what that's a pretty well kitted out attack ship right there missiles some kind of heavy laser i would assume some kind of teleporting bomb they have a teleporter as well yeah these guys are pretty well equipped let's go ahead and charge up our all of our weapons let's also make sure that we have uh let's put power into our engines for now in fact let's go a little bit more than that yeah i don't think that they'll have more than two shots here these things can get past our shields anyway so i'd rather have the evasion chance yeah i guess that'll be what it is we'll uh, see where they decide to teleport aboard all right so intruders detected but the question is where oh it looks like they're over here all right, so we're going to have two people ready for this fight. Let's send in our... Let's send in our Rockman, and then let's send in our extra one as well. Actually, you know what? We're going to send you... Yeah, we'll send you through. That'll be fine. They're trying to make their way through to it at the moment, so it's okay if they want to. They're not going to take the fight. Yep, they broke down the door, and now it's a two-on-one. That's perfectly acceptable in my eyes. All right, a uh, couple of shots. Let's go ahead and dodge everything. Oh, a little bit of damage there is quite bad. Joel seems to be pretty badly hurt too. Uh, yes, yeah, same with Felicity. Oh, she's not in a good way. Okay, uh, we need to go ahead and get some healing up and running. All right, well, you know what? We'll take this fight for a second. I think, yeah, Joel, you got to get out of there. You've got the power you'll be fine uh let's see when you go yeah we still have enough power left in reserve let's get that med bay up and running uh wait where did he go oh did we lose our other zoltan already he mustn't have had enough health yeah felicity's took 75 hits and uh yeah i guess we lost our other ng oh no okay well you get those engines back up online. We'll fight here. Uh, let's go ahead and wait for that breach missile. We need that if we're going to have a chance of surviving. Okay, we got two kills. That's not too bad. Uh, Johnson, you also need healing. Uh, let's send... No, what? Bars can stay here for now, I think. Yeah, you've got some weapon skill. Let's send our rock back over there to help with the assist on the extra on the extra repairs let's fire our breach missiles at their shielding at their shielding yes we need to take that out fairly quickly i do want to go for their weapons but right now this is we need to make the most of our weaponry all right solid hit let's go with a dual laser let's aim for their weapon systems as long as one of these hits that's good and now our pike beam we can cut through a very nice amount let's go from weapons through the engines through the yeah there we are that's going to be the maximum we can do as far as damage is concerned yeah they'll get their shields back but our dual lasers can be focused upon them again so i think we'll be fine but that does take out one of their missiles which is going to be incredibly important all right we have some we have some repair coming back again let's get Let's get Felicity over to the med bay. We cannot afford her to die. Joel, where is your job? You know what? We'll follow up with the weapons just in case. Uh, Johnson, you still need a couple of seconds of healing. It's going to be what it is. Oh, thank goodness. I thought for a second then Felicity was about to get telefragged there with a bomb. Woo, okay. Uh, power back to the med bay, please and thank you. You guys need to be healing. All right, Pike Beam, you can't quite do your job yet. Dual lasers. Come on, I thought we had you to target. All right, you know what? That'll be fine. Let's go. Once again, we're going to cut through all of their systems that we can. There we are. Simple destruction. Okay. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of scrap material. 64 scrap and 3 fuel. That is quite nice. Okay, uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and get you healing. Felicity, you can go back and work on this. Uh, Johnson, weapons, please, and thank you. 
bars. Let's get you getting some repair. Actually, same with Joel. You can probably do that too. All right. Uh, let's see. Who else is ill? Bars. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll send you up over there. That'll be fine. Uh, let's send you over here. Okay. So all in all, everything has been repaired. Not exactly a fantastic engagement, but it could have been a whole stack worse. Let's make sure our oxygen is resupplied, of course. Yeah, we definitely need more power. We need more power, but we have 126. I don't see a store coming nearby, so let's go ahead and power up. Uh, that'll mean we now have enough power for... Wait, do we have bonus power here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no, never mind. That's all well and good. A um, couple of things there. In fact, you know what? Maybe we go ahead and pick up some more reactor power. Yeah, let's go for another two. We're going to go ahead and pop that there. That way we have a third shield. Yeah, we can't. Not everyone we face will have missiles. We still have pretty good cloaking. Yeah, and if something happens to one of our systems, we can always readjust to our medical bay and engines in case. So hopefully that will pan out all right. All right, let's jump again. Let's head over towards... I guess we'll uh, sweep the top of the map. Fortunately, that's a one-way location. All right, well, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully this would be a bit better. You jump into the middle of a plasma storm again. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Okay, well, you know what? We have fantastic piloting skills, so let's carefully explore the debris. Most of the debris is hardly even usable as scrap. However, you eventually find an intact weapon that can be mounted to your ship. <gasps> First laser mark two. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go ahead and see. This fires three shots in two power. You know what? That's going to be better than the dual lasers. Yeah, charge time, two seconds more, but we get an extra shot. That's well and truly worth it, if you ask me. Let's go ahead and put that in into our setup. Uh, do we have enough for this? We need at least one more weapon space, one more weapon power. Uh, I guess for now, we'll just run with the burst laser and the pike beam. Or maybe just the uh, missiles, you know? Doesn't matter. We'll be fine. Uh, question. Anything else we really want to do? We could go for an extra power bar. Again, that would be nice, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we definitely need that extra weapon control system. Alright, I think we're making pretty good progress in this environment. Oh, and uh, you know what? Our oxygen is suffering. Yeah, so I think... If we can make it to the end of this, I think we'll be doing fairly well. If we can find a single store, we should be able to... Speak of the devil. Uh, we should be able to heal up, which is going to be very nice. I think we go up here first. Just see if we can increase our scrap before we heal. Just to make the absolute most out of this, because we're doing pretty well so far. We see a small station nearby and feel a shudder of shots ringing through the ship. We can't be sure without sensors, but it seems there may be intruders on the ship. Okay, intruders on board. Okay, both of you there. That is not very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and power up. Oh, we've got a, someone in cloaking as well as down here. All right, we'll send you over there. Let's send... Where are our fighters? Felicity, you're pretty good at this. Let's send you over there. Uh, Johnson, you're also not bad at this. Let's send you there. And then, you know what? Mort. Yeah, you can go ahead and join on in as well. There we go. Okay, so that'll be 2v2 and a 3v1. Yeah, we can certainly manage this. We'll have to turn on the medbay, of course, because we know that that's going to be a necessity. Uh, but I think that this is going to be a fairly solid victory. Uh, let's get bars out of there and healing up. Let's send on in Felicity, I think. Yeah, she's got some pretty good combat skill. Come on, here we go. Slowly working our way through them. All right, almost. Let's not waste any time. Felicity, you can go get some health. Uh, Johnson, your turn as the weapon guy to start dishing out some more damage. And there we go. All right. You know what? 
things could go on a whole stack worse than what they did. That is not bad at all. And, uh, yeah, Mord, let's get you back to the bridge. That'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Everyone's fairly well healed. In fact, uh, Vivi Mord is even, yeah, almost halfway to the, uh, or just over halfway to the next combat level. That's pretty good if you ask me. All right, let's get everyone back into their stations. Everybody on their required jobs. It's a pity we didn't get extra scrap, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and check out what their wares are. All right, a center of hydrogen cloud doesn't seem like a very usual place for a store, but the NG aren't a usual species. Wouldn't hurt to take a look. Okay, another drone recovery arm, reverse ion field. We have some healing. We also have a second page for, ooh, anti-bio beam, a secondary pike beam. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, NGs, some more crew, but again, where, oh, you know, we are a person down. But uh, we could sell off our dual lasers, and I think that that is going to be what we do. They're just not as necessary now that we've got breach and pike beam. That being said, we use up all of our missiles. We could do with an extra weapon, so it's not the silliest to maintain it. It is only 12 scrap worth for selling. Uh, well, you know what? We can't afford any of the crew. We can't afford any of the weapons realistically. No. Okay, let's just go ahead and repair. Uh, that's not too bad. And then... Well, do we pick up one more fuel just to be safe? Or I suppose we could pick up one more fuel. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, let's grab one more just in case. In, yeah, we'll, take, we'll, uh, we'll empty our stores for now. Let's go ahead and put a couple more power back to where they belong. Uh, pike beam, all of that. Oh, of course, we still need one more for our breach missile to be online. But you know what? That's not too bad, all things being what they are. In fact, uh, we, have, we have a good amount of power in our generator. I guess I didn't quite think this through. Although, never mind. Yeah, by the time we turn off the med bay and all of that, that gives us the final true power for running this thing at maximum. Yeah, but that burst laser is going to be a nice upgrade from that uh, the dual laser. All right, let's jump to the next location. I think we'll go... I think we'll make our way back over here, down there, and then probably straight to the exit. I don't think that there's too much more we can see. Although... Hang on a second, we made our way around. So if we look at all of these blue ones, that's where we've traveled. We might actually be able to get out an extra couple of, of uh, jumps. Yeah, if we go here, that's one. Second one. Although, oh, you know what? No, I don't think we'll quite have three jumps before there. Let's uh, just go for the slightly safer route. We did just heal and all, so you never know. Okay, navigating the fog blind, you practically bump holes with a mantis ship. They hail you. Pa, this transgression will be overlooked. Nebula, very dangerous. Next time, all humans die. Well, there won't be a next time. Let's open fire. It's awfully tempting. We have full power. We could do this. Uh, yeah, we can... We. Yeah, let's go ahead. There won't be a next time open fire. All right, we're going to quickly go ahead and use our breach missiles. I think we'll go ahead and... Yeah, we'll get that up and running. We'll turn off the pike beam. That burst laser with three shots. We're not going to... We're not going to hope for a uh, three for three. That's just a little bit... Uh, what do we call it? We'd be reaching for a little bit there. That's a, <laughs> That's a very unlikely case, given they'll probably have some decent evasion. Oh, we have a uh, not very friendly friends on board. Let's get you across over there. Let's also get you lined up for uh, for uh, taking the next fight. And we'll get you over there as well. These guys have some pretty solid ability to pack a punch. So we need to make sure that we've got reinforcements at the ready. We'll wait a second and see if they have a solid shot. Yeah, all right, uh, Mort, my friend, let's get you to the med bay. That's already powered up for you. Let's send on in Vivamond. Yeah, that's definitely what we will do. Let's send you in there. Uh, Johnson, you're also getting fairly beat up. Give you a second. All right, that seems about enough. Let's go ahead and get 
Johnson out of there. Send you to the med bay too. Swap you with bars. That'll be fine. Come on, just a second more and we can... There we are. Hit the cloaking. Now, because we're cloaked, they're not going to be able to disengage. So they can't teleport back out. Let's fire our missiles. Let's go straight for their shield generator. Come on, good damage here. Oh, it's a miss. Ooh, that is bad on our end. But at least we did kill off two of their crew, so that's not the end of the world. Uh, let's see. Let's get... Let's get, uh, Viv back towards the other side. Yeah. We still have... We still have, uh, what do we call it? A pilot for now, so that'll be fine. Uh, let's go... Mort, get you back to the bridge. That's going to be important. Uh, Felicity, you're fine. Johnson... Yeah, we'll get you to back to the weapons and then in a second you know what i think bars can actually go over there now let's just go ahead and return everyone to their stations bars will send you up over there and movie mode will send you to here all right that'll at least get everybody to the right spot we'll make the most out of all of this yeah breach missiles are about to come back online let's go fire full power and there we have it. Okay, burst laser. Let's follow through. Let's go ahead and take out their... I think their weapon system is probably what we want to target next. Yeah, we'll disable the breach. Go back to the pike beam. After this, we're not really worried about their beam, but that did just play havoc with their weapon system. We'll go ahead and get that burst laser targeting their shields once again, just to make sure they don't repair. And then we'll follow through with the pike beam. Yeah, there we go. Once they're down, which looks like it is the case. Let's go ahead and do we cloak? No, right, we'll save it for the next one. Oh, actually, you know what? They made a they made a one land. Okay, maybe we should have cloak. But either way, this is not going to go well for them. Uh, let's target. Let's just burn a hole straight through the center of their ship. We'll cleave them in two. Uh, let's get that burst laser going for their weapons. I think that they are absolutely toasted. There is no way that they're going to be able to survive this. Yep. No evasion, no weapons. Let's go ahead and we'll go with the pike beam. We'll split them from one end to the other. Oh, and we wasted it. Ah, oh, well. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take down those shields again. I should have probably thought that they would be healing them. But, you know, it is what it is. And then, you know what? Whatever gets the fire first gets to take the victory. Okay, well, you know what? It was a combined effort. Not too bad. 65 scrap. Excellent. So that goes to 71 thanks to our extra um, of uh, scrap recovery. Let's get Joel and Johnson healed again. They did take a direct hit in that battle. So let's make sure that they are at full health. Uh, let's see. 71. What can we afford? We're just 19 shy there for that weapon control. Uh, we're just going to have to stay with what we've got. Just is what it is. All right. Let's go ahead and engage at the next jump. Assuming there is, of course, someone there. All right. You cycle through wideband comm channels as soon as you arrive. Nothing but static. All right. Well, then let's jump to the exit. I guess there's not much we can do. Maybe we could double check one of those huge jumps just in case, but we'll see. All right, let's continue. Uh, yeah, if we go for one more jump, they're going to be covering this sector. We're just going to go ahead and jump to the next, I think. There's not really much we can do, so off we go. The last stand. We are at the 11th hour. Maybe we can get a couple of repairs in. Who knows? There's certainly going to be a few more fights, so let's see what's... Uh, you know what? I think we'll make the jump in the next one, and we'll do it in one. So if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.